All right, what's up, guys? Politics Gaming here, and today we are doing the next episode of the Republic of Turkey. Uh, current situation right now, we have a war on our border. Armenia and Georgia are at war. We, <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna get involved because I mean I have tried to record this uh, about two times now, and um, it's kind of pissing me off because you know it doesn't work, and it all screws up. Last time I actually won the war, but then I lost my entire troop count. For some reason, I've lost 540,000 troops. So, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and deal with this election going on right now. There is a battle going on in uh, Tbilisi. Um, but we have troops on the border with Armenia. So we are going to go ahead and let that sort itself out. Um... If it escalates, then we are going to get involved, but we are going to go ahead and concentrate on this uh, um, election going on right now. It does look like there is a full-scale war happening in uh, Tbilisi. Um, the Georgians seem to be outnumbered by the Armenians. Um, they have 5,000 troops in their army, and Armenia has 26,000. An assassination. Let's go ahead and check to see if it was our cabinet. Um, yes, it was our cabinet. Um, we're going to go ahead and appoint someone real quick. We're going to ensure that they are... Um... Okay, let's go ahead and appoint you. So we have naval forces that are off. Um, it seems that the... Georgians have won the battle for their capital. Um, we have already broken diplomatic ties with Armenia. Um, I think we can go ahead and come over here. We're going to go ahead and make sure we're clicked on Armenia. And we are going to um, break off relations. Okay, we have ties with all these countries. Um, arms embargoes, we're going to go ahead and cease um, exporting arms to Armenia. And then manage embassies abroad. We are not going to open our embassy as of yet. Um, foreign policy, everyone seems to be lacking the foreign policy that I am enacting. Um, so the story so far, we are sending troops to the border to protect oil and natural gas fields that we have in eastern Turkey. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and read this newspaper, see what's going on. Firmly condemns the government for its inaction in the Armenia-Georgia conflict. Um, we do have major public support for this war, uh, but um, it is not something that we are going to pursue because of just the game acting weird and not wanting us to uh, get in a war. Um, because I can end the war, but the bug, for some reason, just doesn't want, want us to get into the war. Um, I think what I can do, I'm going to go ahead and launch a military reconnaissance flight against uh, Armenia. So we are going to spy on their military, see what kind of troops they have, and we are going to see... Um, I don't think we're going to do a direct invasion of Armenia, but something we can do... Actually, the war does seem to have ended. Is the war still going on? Let's go ahead and go over here. Let's go to conflicts. They have a treaty with um, Georgia... So the war has ended. It has lasted 20 days. We have 20,000 Georgians dead and 23,000 Armenian dead. So 23,000 Armenian dead. That does seem to be like... Nope, never mind. Um, so it does look like we have ended this war. Um, we did put a little bit of pressure on um, the Armenian government. So we are going to go ahead and remove our troops from the border with Armenia. Um, possibly after the war, maybe we can invade Armenia. Um, 
So what we are going to do, we're going to go ahead and do some political spying, and we are going to sense a network of agents to, um, oh, Armenia. Armenia, Armenia, Armenia. Um... Oh, we already have um, spies there. So what's going on? Okay. No. Sendai nuclear plant. No, they already had enough. Armenia operational cell. We are okay. We have a lot of uh, meteor operations in Japan. We're going to go ahead and remove. Um. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and come over here. We're gonna go to manage um, networks. We're gonna go ahead and remove any unneeded um, spies from anywhere that we don't need to be. Mm. We're gonna leave them in Japan, I mean Israel. We're gonna take them out of Mexico. We're gonna go ahead and increase our presence in Russia. Saudi Arabia, we're going to go ahead and increase our presence. Um, South Korea and Taiwan, we don't need anyone there. Um, United States, yeah, we're going to go ahead and <clears throat> increase our presence there. And United Arab Emirates, we do have a lot of um, strain with them. So apparently in response to uh, um, a United Nations resolution, we are able to go to war against Armenia. So all Georgian allies, I guess, I guess so. Um, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Belarus, and oh wait, that's just the Montenegro application which actually in reality Montenegro actually um, joined NATO Na uh, Montenegro is now a NATO ally call to allies in these dark days I call on all our allies to maintain their commitments by standing at our side against the forces that threaten our country and the balance of power Alright, we have called on our NATO allies to join the war against Armenia. It is up to them to, if they want to... Um, Armenia, really? You, you really want to do that? Okay, let's go ahead and call on our military to launch an attack against them. Um, so, first off... We are going to launch an attack. Going to start so, attack this country. You know what? I'm going to save this first before it all screws up. Save. Okay, let's uh, declare war on Armenia. Um, attack this country. Sort of results in the deployment of the country's armies to conquer the target country. The mobilization of all military forces takes some time, which, with different units leaving one by one for the front, their deployment time depends on the distance they have to cover. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and do this manually. We're going to go ahead and launch an attack. Yes. Let's start something. And before I forget, we're going to go ahead and uh, um, move troops to the border.
so I guess we're gonna go ahead and wait for a, a response. Looks like their troops are crossing into Russian territory. Oh no. Um. Armenian attack. No, we're gonna go ahead and do this manually. Does look like we have lost some troops. Um, Armenia, Georgia. One, 426 troops have died on our side, and we have killed 1,300. I don't want to lead an attack on this military base because it does look like that they will... Uh, um, kill most of that because there's this weird thing where they don't like to have a direct military battle like in the middle of land but you know it's it's part of the game um missile launchers we're gonna go ahead and continue our attacks against these military troops that are crossing into our territory and um continue to get these missile launchers and we're gonna go ahead and launch an attack against these tanks tanks that are crossing into our land we are going to take them out airstrikes on this military base continue to hinder the enemy's capability to launch an attack against our country and we are going to ensure that we are in um, full capability to protect ourselves protect our allies and um end this war how many days do we have until the election okay so we have 60 whenever it hits 60 days that's whenever the election campaign starts so i want to get this war done before that so we are going to go ahead and launch an invasion of armenia So let's get those missile launchers out before they kick our ass. Oh, boom. Let's go ahead and get those missile launchers out and uh, near the border. Idgar has taken some damage. Um, um, I think what we are going to do now, we are going to construct a refugee camp near here. Well, actually, I think it's in the um, region affected, so we're going to have to build it in the nearby region. Uh, actually, here, I want to go ahead and do this. I want to see if this can work. Um, military operations. Ask for help. Let's go ahead and see if we can ask Iran. Doesn't look like it. Actually, Azerbaijan. Let's see if we can get Azerbaijan in involved. The Battle of Yerevan has started. Let's go ahead and check our casualties before we um, get involved in this battle. 426 uh, Turks have died in this war. Um, and over 5,000 Armenians have died. So... Okay, let's go ahead and try to get these troops in. Oh, uh, God. Okay, we're going to have to move about this slowly. So, let's go ahead and check those casualties. 36 have died, and one Armenian has died. Reinforcements are still coming in. How many tanks do we have? 
we have no tanks that are um, within distance. So we're going to have to call on our tanks to move in. Let's also see if we can get some uh, commandos in the battle too. Azerbaijan is joining the party. Okay, let's see how many people died during that charge. Nearly a thousand troops have died. Let's go ahead and retreat. And charge again. We have over 1,300 troops in that party right there. Let's continue to move these troops in. The hell are those? Does look like we are having a successful military operation to take the city. Seems that their special forces are coming out to fight us. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, let's retreat, 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 retreat. We need more troops. This is going to what? Okay, let's hurry up and not screw with Iran. I don't care about the verdict of someone that I don't even know. Great disapproval. Absolute disapproval of the presence of your troops near our borders. Yes, I know. Is that affecting our relations? Not really. There is a general strike happening in the, um, the city, but I think that is against uh, the um, the government. So it does seem that the battle is coming to an end, so we have lost 3,050 troops in this battle and Armenia has lost um, that much. Sorry if I haven't been talking, um, I 
have just been uh, concentrating on winning this battle. I'm gonna go ahead and set, send these guys to go take the power element. And then... Actually, you guys, you can go take the parliament. Um, you're going to go ahead and take the TV building. And our troops are moving into the TV building. And we have the TV building. And it looks like that we have captured the... We have just taken the country's capital. We took the capital. Belarusian forces are moving in. Russian troops are moving around. I do not know what this means. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and check um, conflicts that they have. They only have a war against Armenia. The war has lasted 16 days between Armenia and Belarus, 14 days between Armenia and Turkey. Um, so here are the casualty numbers. 12,000 554 men have died fighting for Armenia and for Turkey, 3,500 troops have died. Um, peace treaty. I think we're going to go ahead and move that up to about 200 million in one year. I officially inform you of our country's surrender. Our forces will hand over their weapons from now and submit themselves to your country's authority. So the war has officially ended, and Armenia has Arme Iranian troop movements close. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and remove our troops from the region. Return to base. No, I do not want any tension with Iran. Um, I am working too hard to establish a... Uh, a HQ lasted only 16 days. Okay, we have a lot of notifications coming in. Oldest person, funeral... No, I'm not going to put any troops on uh, the border. Okay, so 92 days to um, death toll. So 3,578 civilian and military casualties. The war will have cost the nation $25 million. Um... I thought it would be useful to give you this information before the elaboration of a peace treaty. What else is there? Um, no, 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 nothing important. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those, and we're going to go ahead and skip over to the peace treaty. I'm not going to integrate this country. I'm sorry. Was that... It's not me. Okay. I was about to say, is that me? Um, peace treaty. Alright. So, what should I do? Integrated country. Country that lost will become... Province loses all sovereignty and independence, a colonized country. 
nominates a commanding officer to lead the vanquished country, and the two countries are thenceforth linked to each other by military agreements. Vanquished country can serve its economic independence and the control of its army, but now acts as an ally of the victorious country. Pullback and elections. The country that won withdraws all of its troops from the country that lost and organizes free elections so there will so that the losing country retains complete independence well advised um i'm stuck between a colonized country and a uh a pullback in election being the country that we are and the country that we are perceiving to be, I think we would do a colonized country, but, um... Um, I think this time, oh god, this is, this is hard. Um. We're gonna go ahead and make them a colonized country. So they are going to be a dependency of Turkey, and we're gonna go ahead and skip to the next day. Yeah, yeah, it seems cool. Um, it does look like there is uh, still a protest happening in the country. Military threats to Armenia. Yeah, they are putting troops close to the border. Um, I think I'm going to ignore that. Iran's not going to do anything. One of the worst things that I think can happen is a uh, war with Iran. Because Iran has one of the most powerful armies in the region, and it would be one of the most long when it would be the most long and drawn out war um, that would happen if um, me and Iran went to war. Funeral. Mm, NATO membership. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and accept them. Sincere salutations. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and espionage on them. I don't know why that keeps on showing up for me. It's a bug. Against. I am against it. And, of course, everyone wants to go to war. Um, I'm not going to get involved. Um, against. Ooh. Hang on. Opening of the pipe. Nice. Let's go ahead and attend that ceremony. Meeting request with Iraq. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and meet with the Iraqi Prime Minister. Of course, Azerbaijan goes to war with Belarus. And apparently, Azerbaijan wants to meet with us. Um, refugees. Huh. Okay. So, we are going to... What are you doing? Okay, they're moving troops to Russia. Um... So, next time, we are going to go ahead and get fully involved in this election. This episode definitely was just dedicated to, uh... What? A dependency of Belarus? What? But they were just a dependency on me. Oh my god, I fucking hate this game. Okay, whatever. I don't care. Belarus has to deal with them then. Um. <laughs>
<laughs> that was retarded. We, we spent 3,000 troops for nothing. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and see you guys in the next episode. We're going to go ahead and get um, get on with this election that is going to happen. We are going to further our agenda. And after this election, if we win, we are going to um, definitely crack down on a lot of things. And we are going to secure Parliament. Um, we could have done that beforehand, but I was too lazy. So anyway, I will see you guys in the next episode.